Ahoy hoy and welcome to the channel. Today we need to talk about a thing I've already talked about once or twice or maybe even three times on the channel. What happened to Dr. Bright? So if you're part of the SCP community, it's probably you have some inclination that something is going on with Dr. Bright. And it's even more likely if you follow my channel, since I have done videos about this before, that you're a bit better informed about it than most. But Ultimately, a lot of information is spread out across three different videos I made when I could just put it all in one and hopefully make it a little shorter. Uh, and also, I've been made aware of a few additional pieces of information in the time since I made those videos. Uh, so let's dive into the basics. Dr. Jack Bright was a character created by a user on the SCP Wiki named Dr. Bright. That user has actually used more than one name in the past, and as far as I know, none of them are invalid to use today. If I'm wrong, I apologize. Uh, I believe this is actually a nickname for this person. So to differentiate, for the sake of the video, we're going to use one of the user's aliases, The Duckman, when we're talking about that user. So, when I'm talking about the character, I'll say Dr. Bright. When I'm talking about the author, I'll say The Duckman. Dr. Bright was an incredibly popular character on the SCP Wiki. Over 250 or so articles were written about the character at the peak of its popularity, and a not insubstantial amount of those were written by the Duckman. Offsite, though, the character is one of the primary characters identified with the SCP Foundation. The character is also an anomaly, designated SCP-963. Long story short, it's an amulet holding the character's soul and mind, which can take over people who put it on. If you go looking, you'd probably find more fan art of Dr. Bright than any other character on the SCP Wiki. And that's just one example of how popular it is both on and off the Wiki. But the user behind the character, the Duckman, was probably even more important to the early success of the site. The Duckman was one of the people who helped manage the site, wrote some of the earlier, most popular works, but even then there are some problems to consider. See, the early works on the SCP Wiki, Series 1, are often a little immature. Actually, they're a lot immature. But most of the SCP Wiki's earlier users were honestly quite young at the time. Without going into detail, I know some of these people, and I can say that a lot of them are that are still around have regrets concerning some of those works as they've aged. That's pretty normal. It's easy to look back and regret the stuff you did as a 15-year-old. But the Duckman wasn't a young person in 2008. The Duckman was a full-grown adult, even when the wiki was young. And that's going to make, in context, that's going to contextualize some of the Duckman's behaviors going forward, and that's going to make them a bit more troubling than they might have otherwise been. I'll also give a disclaimer that I knew Bright, but not very well. This is going to be a habit every time I talk about a what happened to so-and-so video, I think. Uh, you know, a troubling person in the SCP community, if they have any profile at all, is probably somebody that I knew at least a little. And in some cases, unfortunately, I knew pretty well. But anyway, on to the problems. I'll play a little clip from one of the videos I did that I think outlines the ban, the reasoning for the ban, and we'll talk a little bit about it afterwards. The anti-harassment team received an omnibus report regarding actions at Minbright carried out while they were SCP Wiki staff. This report contained some evidence previously seen by anti-harassment team, and it also contained new material either previously not seen or which went uncorrelated. The team thoroughly examined the claims made by the report and conducted our own investigation into these events as well as the surrounding circumstances. It is our determination that at Men Bright acted in a manner that was both deeply inappropriate and well beyond the lines drawn by sites, the site's harassment policy. In conclusion, Admin Bright is to receive a permanent harassment ban for violation of the following clauses of the policy. Unwelcome sexual attention, including sending users sexual images, pressuring sexual discussion or interaction, or repeated unwanted flirting. Repeated inappropriate social contact, such as requesting and assuming inappropriate levels of intimacy with others, or encouraging any of the behaviors defined by the harassment policy. So I'm not going to go into detail as the video that that comes from goes into, but I will link it in the description if you want more information. But the important bits are here. The Duckman had a habit of extremely inappropriate behavior on the SCP Wiki in connection with staff authority and reputation both as an author and as a member of staff. Foremost among those behaviors, probably the most common, the most frequent behavior that is extremely objectionable, was requesting nude photos from others. Sometimes 
non-specifically, just in a channel, someone's, in, you know, in the sense of someone send me nude photos was would be the context of what I'm talking about here. And according to the accusations, which are backed up by significant evidence, chat logs and, you know, all sorts of uh, uh, all sorts of information that can be looked at. This did not stop when the Duckman was in spaces that definitively included underaged individuals. Additionally, the Duckman used authority and reputation gained as an administrator of the SCP Wiki to request nude photos and other risque behaviors from people off-site who knew of the character. This includes a fairly well-documented case that I will link in the description involving a user named Daisy. This individual was in what, from screenshots and messages indicate, can only be described as an extremely unhealthy relationship with an individual twice as old as Daisy was. These communications, while involving consenting adults, despite the fairly large age gap, involve extremely manipulative behavior on the part of the Duckman. I could talk about how power dynamics and parasocial relationships are askew, or how being famous in the ways that matter to someone, because you're famous in the SCP Wiki, that's not a big deal, but if it matters to someone, then it matters a great deal. Um, but those power dynamics make it impossible for a relationship to be healthy between those two people. But again, I don't have to. This behavior is objectionable on the surface of it, but there were fully documented cases of the Duckman using admin reputation and powers on the wiki itself and in official spaces to request nude photos. And all of these were done in places where underage people were present. In fact, uh, the fact that the Duckman frequently requested nude photos is in of itself a problem. But early on on the SCP wiki for almost a whole year, Part of the application process included a joke about how sending nude photos in with the applications that the Duckman would be able to see could possibly help uh, grease the wheels of the application process. After all of this came to light, almost nothing happened at first. The problem was the Duckman was an administrator on the SCP Wiki. That's the highest level of authority you can get. And as an administrator, was involved in the discipline and anti-harassment teams, the latter of which would have been the one to handle these charges originally, that could then get referred to discipline if uh, a finding was made. And the opaque nature of the anti-harassment team, which basically disallows us to be able to see the, how things work internally because uh, names have to be protected of victims and sometimes of the accused when it turns out that things aren't true because of the nature of how these accusations go. But the, uh, that opaque nature means when authority is abused behind the scenes, we never get to know with any certainty how much the Duckman put a hand on the scale to squash accusations. Eventually, though, the Duckman retired from staff. And you might think this was unrelated to any of the accusations, but probably not. See, the resignation came just before the imminent passage of a policy explicitly barring the use of staff reputation off-site in adult spaces to coerce adult behavior or content. And it's important to remember that that policy was being put in place because of the Duckman's behaviors off-site. I can't speak to motives, but I can speak to timing and then let you draw your own conclusions. So even after all this happened, there was a silence for a time, and eventually the Duckman was banned from the site after accusations surfaced again. And eventually, people started to discuss what to do about works featuring the character Dr. Bright. Now, I've been saying the Duckman this whole time to make it easier to understand who I'm talking about, but it's important to remind you again, as I mentioned in the beginning, that Dr. Bright, the character, and the author are very very hard to separate. And it doesn't help that the version of Dr. Bright that the Duckman wrote on the wiki is a sexually lecherous and in some cases predatory individual. And these things are treated as if they're hilarious hijinks by not an insubstantial number of stories featuring the character. So trying to separate the character from the author is extremely hard for many people, including for actual provable victims. In February of this year, things finally heated up again when a retiring moderator deleted the Bright List off of the wiki. It should be noted that the Bright List was an extremely popular article that contained some genuinely vile and disgusting entries of a sexual nature originally, and what to do about it had been a long-standing question among the community and staff. This deletion, however, was unilateral and unexpected. 
However, the fact that it happened led to a reassessment of the details of the Duckman's misdeeds on the wiki, and an examination by many of us, myself included, about how we could justify retaining the characters in our own extant works. So eventually a decision was made by a few of us to replace Dr. Bright with a Dr. Shaw to at least lessen the exposure of individuals to the character. Personally, I, and this is interesting uh, uh, statistics and detail, I've actually written originally more Dr. Bright articles on the SCP wiki by any user who isn't the Duckman. The Duckman wrote more than anyone else. I'm number two, if you were to look at the list of people who have written that character. And DJ Cactus, the originator of Dr. Shaw as a replacement character, isn't actually far behind on that list. Both of us figured that the best choice was to avoid giving, through the popularity of our own works, more power or influence to someone who had clearly shown an inability to use power and influence responsibly around sexual topics. And that's led us to today. The Duckman is gone, Dr. Bright has been removed from quite a few works on the wiki and replaced with a Dr. Shaw, the Bright list was completely deleted, and hopefully people can look at this video when they have questions about it, but don't have time to do the digging through all the forum threads, all the Twitter comments, all the Tumblr comments, and all the chat logs. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everyone here already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged $100, and Dell, who's pledged at $40. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again in the next video.